It's time now for Your Retirement Matters with Arlene Brown. Make a positive difference in your financial life by developing a disciplined investment strategy so you can retire on time and stay retired. And now, Your Retirement Matters with Arlene Brown. And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jeff Davis with our host, Arlene Brown. Good morning, Arlene. Good morning. Good morning, Atlanta. Good morning, Jeff. And uh, by the way, folks, you can call 678-741-5334 to take advantage of a complimentary, no obligation, three-step review. Or you can email Arlene at Arlene at YourRetirementMatters.net. That's A-R-L-E-N-E. Arlene at YourRetirementMatters.net. Again, 678-741-5334. So how are you today? Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's talk about finding money falling through the cracks. Boy, we talk about that so often. It's basically a motto of yours. Yeah. A slogan. I'm passionate about that. Yeah. (laughs) I don't blame you. Well, you know, Jeff, I tell people that there are four possible ways to lose money. You lose money to low rate of returns. You lose money because you are paying too much in income taxes, which in turn could push your social security income into taxation as well if you are already receiving social security benefits. And you lose money to because you are paying too high of a fees on your brokerage accounts. And of course, you lose money simply because you are invested in the, in the market. That's why it's really imperative to sit down and have someone help you analyze your tax returns, income planning, and the in, your investment risk exposure, because in, in a look in a look forward and proactive manner, and that way you can you can discover ways of how you can take back control in these areas and make your life better. You mentioned fees. Yes. Mm-hmm. I always thought that fees are an integral part of investing. Well, it could. Well, uh, well you see. Not, not too much fees though, okay? My quibble are fees that are not fully disclosed and fees that are not disclosed. And let, let's- So fees that aren't fully disclosed and fees and that aren't cl- disclosed at all. That is correct, <laughs> okay. You see, uh, like what happened uh, with the couple I visited last Tuesday, she has $800,000 in her, in her account. And she was in an investment vehicle where she was actually paying 2.9% annually in fees. And she did not even know about that. She, was, she probably know about that, but she wasn't aware of that. Okay, and not until I pointed it out to her. And, and it doesn't matter whether her account was going up or going down, that 2.9% is being charged annually, every year, year in, year out. Now, um, that's why she was like, she was her complaint to me for a long time was that for nine years that she has been with this person with this financial advisor her account never was never really making money it was in fact it was losing money so when i pointed out about the fees that's about 22 more than $22,000 a year in fees and for 9 years wow yes absolutely so that's money falling through the cracks and you see i am i am not against fees as long as they are disclosed and properly disclosed okay and also because that's how most financial advisors make money in fees but it has to be set up in a way like what how i set up with my clients is that if there are no gains no there's no fee okay so it's like my mantra is no gain no pain no gain, no fees. Because so, what is the the rational behind of letting you manage someone's account when it is it keeps on losing money? And what incentive do they have to, to m- exactly. increase your net worth? You just mentioned fees that are disclosed, and you also mentioned fees that are undisclosed. Yeah. And I wonder, mm-hmm. can you speak to us for a moment about those undisclosed fees? Well, let's talk about mutual funds, uh, Jeff, because mutual funds uh, there are fees that are disclosed. And you can see that in the prospectus, like the expense ratio, which is the annual recurring expenses that covers the operating expenses. And it usually ranges from 1% to 3%. Now, the lower 
the expense ratio, the better for you. Mm -hmm. So you want to find mutual funds that has a lower expense ratio. However, there is an additional fee that very few people in the industry talk about, okay? And most brokers probably or financial advisors are not aware of this because it's not, you can't find that in the prospectus. It's actually in what you call Part B prospectus or the supplement to the prospectus, mm -hmm. mutual funds prospectus. And you can't, re it's not readily available to you as an investor. You have to specifically request for that copy. It is actually called what you call the, the statement of additional information. And if you are going to peruse that statement of additional information, the section after the management notes, and if you want to find out how much money has been spent in, in trading costs, trading fees, and also that what you call the cost of shelf space payments that was spent. You see, mutual funds or, or brokerage companies are just like warehouse. Imagine that, that it's like a warehouse. And the mutual funds are, mutual funds companies are the in, in inventories, okay? So they take up space. All right. So for the for the brokerage companies to push your uh, certain mutual funds, they have to pay a, what you call a cost of shelf space payment. Yeah, just okay? like in a grocery store. Yes, it's not exactly exactly, but it's not in the prospectus. It's in the statement of additional information, and that fee is actually it could average. Uh, to 1.4%. So you add that 1.4% to that 2.9%, hmm. th there you go. 4. That's 4. a lot of money. Do people read that supplement, that statement of additional information? Do they really read it usually? No, pr probably n not a whole lot of people know about the statement of additional information because you have to request for that specifically. Now, and I'm the, wondering the how many people really do that. You know? No, and have you read a prospectus? I mean, every time I read a prospectus, because I have to read a prospectus, I get cranky because it's it's just so... I throw it in the trash. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not there for you to understand, really. really. Remember, it's written by 37 attorneys. And in one page, it says different. On the second page, it says another thing. And by the third and fourth and the fifth page, you're already lost. So it's, it's, it's not easy to decipher a, a prospectus. And yes, most people throw the prospectus just like you. How much more? They don't know what a statement of additional information. And you need to request specifically for that. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's the only way you find out mm -hmm. about those hidden fees. Um, that's a lot of money falling through the cracks. Now, that's only in fees. Yeah. Now, Uncle Sam's got to get his piece as well. Yes, in the form of phantom income taxation. Now, we have spoken about phantom income taxation uh, in the past because you might be receiving capital gains, um, dividends, or distribution, income distribution in your mutual funds, stocks, or bonds. Historically, that income can cost you money even if you are losing money. So let's, let's take, for example, mutual funds, okay? Because... Um, Let's say, for example, you have a mutual fund in your investment portfolio that showed a loss for the year, and you still received capital gains distribution because what happened was that during the year, the fund manager sold some stocks inside the mutual funds for profit. And even if the mutual fund value has gone down, the fund manager is required to send you capital gains distribution mm -hmm. and you paid taxes on it. Now. Um, and which could also push your your social security into taxation as well. So you th there's two different ways where the taxes could really could really hit you. So this is all money falling through the cracks. That this is all Fees, money falling. Fees, taxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people probably spend tons on just those two things. You don't even realize and they it. don't realize it. Oh. You see, the phantom income taxation that is is where your income dis your paper loss is greater than your income distribution. That's phantom income taxation. Now, what might it cost you? Let's say, for example, you receive ten thousand dollars capital gains. All right, and fifteen percent taxes. That's fifteen hundred dollars. Now, what is very frustrating. Jeff, let's just imagine that your portfolio has gone down 10%. 
your $300,000 portfolio gone down 10 per, 10%. That's $30,000, and then you still pay that $1,500 wow. capital gains distribution. That's... That's, that's a why, phantom tax, all right. Yeah, that's why it's very, it's imperative that you need to sit down, go through your tax returns, so that, because this is a way, analyzing your tax return is one way to identify whether you are paying phantom income taxation, or whether if you are using deferral or tax deferral strategies incorrectly. Do you help people in this situation in your yeah, practice? Yeah, because that's where the three-step review process comes comes in. Because the first step of the process is tax review. Uh -huh. And then the second step is income planning. And then the third step is the investment risk exposure wow. analysis. Yeah. I'll bet there's a lot of aha moments when you meet with people. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But it's really the fees that gets them. Because they did not realize, especially, especially if they don't really look at the the statement very closely. And they're paying these fees to some broker yeah. that mm -hmm. they think is looking out for them. Well, folks, whether you're contemplating buying or selling stocks, bonds, or mutual funds, it's extremely important that you go through a process like a three-step review that Arlene Brown has that will address uh, income planning, risk exposure analysis, and ensure that whatever you do, you're doing it in the most tax-efficient manner. Call financial planner Arlene Brown at 678-741-5334. That's 678-741-5334. Or you can just email her at Arlene. Arlene is spelled A-R-L-E-N-E. -E, Arlene at yourretirementmatters.net. And take advantage of her complimentary, no obligation, three-step review process. You can also visit her website, yourretirementmatters.net. And her Facebook page under the same name, Your Retirement Matters. All right, stay tuned, folks. We're going to be right back for what I consider to be my favorite part of the show, and that's Arlene answering our listeners' questions. You're listening to Your Retirement Matters on News Talk 1160. Stay with us. 